back to Erica with Rosie Research. Let's take a look at what makes that Alka-Seltzer rocket launch. So if you've ever made one of those film canister rockets and you've seen it pop, you might wonder, why is it doing that? Why do I need to use Alka-Seltzer and water or maybe baking soda and vinegar? And how does it pop? Well, Alka-Seltzer and water, they have a reaction. And so the water and the salts and the Alka-Seltzer, they combine together and they used to be solids and then they're gonna make gas. And gas is way bigger than a solid. So gas is these little tiny particles with all of the space between them. And by making this gas, we're expanding the area. And you can imagine if I have a little tiny film canister and I start making stuff that's trying to expand, it's gonna start pushing against those walls. And at some point, it's gonna try pushing so hard because I'm gonna have so much gas in there trying to push out that it's going to pop. And so you can use anything in your rockets that will create some sort of gas. So that's why baking soda and vinegar will also work. But something like soap and water isn't gonna work unless it starts making its own bubbles without really doing anything. So you can experiment with all sorts of things to try to find other things that will make your rocket go boom. Thank you so much for learning with us. This is Dr. St. Clair signing off.